Welcome to the James A. Canavino Library tutorial on the Association for Computing Machinery, or ACM, Digital Library. In this tutorial, we will cover the contents of the ACM Digital Library, the Browse function, the Simple Search, Viewing Search Results, and the Advanced Search. The Content The ACM Digital Library provides access to most of the full text of the journals, magazines, newsletters, conference proceedings, and transactions published by the Association for Computing Machinery, as well as the full text of the latest edition of the Encyclopedia of Computer Science. Indexing for over 1,000 periodicals, 140,000 books, thousands of dissertations, technical reports, and proceedings is also included in the digital library. Full text articles available through the Marist College Library electronic subscriptions are linked. The Browse function. You can browse or search the ACM Digital Library from the home page. The latest news about ACM publications is presented in the Announcements area. Directly below, you will find links to issues added within the most recent two weeks. On the right side of the page, several options for browsing content are provided. The ACM publications, almost all of which are in full text, are placed prominently at the top. The last option lets you browse by the ACM Computing Classification System. Each of the 11 primary categories is divided into secondary categories, which are in turn further subdivided. At the lowest level, links to articles within the category are provided. The Simple Search The Simple Search box is located in the upper right of the home page. You can type in a word, a phrase, a personal name, or an organizational name. Viewing search results. We will look at the search results page before we look at the advanced search function. It will be easier to understand the advanced search options once you understand the fields displayed in the search results. We will search for Marist Professor Ron Coleman. The first 20 of 87 results are displayed in abbreviated format. To see the full record, click on the article title. In the top box, you will find the article title and a link to a PDF of the full text. The authors and their home institutions are listed. The home institution is a searchable field in the advanced search. The publication title, volume, and issue are displayed along with a link to browse through that particular issue of that publication. If you want the full citation for the article, click on the Publications tab. The data necessary for a full citation, including the inclusive pages, is presented. This is important for articles you will request on interlibrary loan. The References tab lists the articles the author cited in the bibliography, some of which have links to the full text. The note at the top indicates that this list was machine-generated and is not perfect. Some of the articles may be available in full text, but a link was not created for them in the automated conversion process. For example, the last article listed, appearing in the magazine ACMQ, is available in full text in the ACM Digital Library, but lacks a link because of some problem experienced in the OCR process. The Cited by tab lists articles that have included this article in their bibliography. This helps you locate related articles and articles that may have made a further contribution to the subject covered in the original article. The Cited by tab is especially helpful when you want to find more recent articles. Again, you can click on the links to these articles to find the full text and full record. 
The index term tab will display the subject terms assigned to the article by ACM. The index term field is searchable in the advanced search. If you will be doing a lot of research in a specific area, it is a good idea to become familiar with the terms most frequently used to classify articles of interest. If a journal article is not available in full text, you will see a button in the Tools and Resources area that says Find Full Text at Marist. Click on this button. If the article is available in another of Marist's electronic subscriptions, you will be taken directly to that article. The Advanced Search. The Advanced Search allows for greater precision in retrieval. The Advanced Search link is located directly below the simple search box. In the Words or Phrases section, you can apply Boolean operators to search terms, as well as limit the search to a specific field, such as title, abstract, or review. By limiting to title, for example, the articles retrieved will be sharply focused on the search term. By typing in three words on the first line, we use the Boolean operator AND. This search will look for all three words somewhere in the record. Notice the titles retrieved. Risk Assessment for Supply Chain Networks and Remarks on Computer Music Culture. Now let's run the same search with one change. We enclose the phrase social networks in quotation marks. It will now search for the literal phrase social networks. Notice how the titles retrieved have changed. Living City and a survey of attack and defense techniques for reputation systems. In our next example, we will look for the phrases social networks or virtual communities. We will also use the title field limiter. Note how one or the other term appears in each title. Next, we use the Boolean operator NOT to exclude articles discussing Facebook. We limit the search to the abstract field. We can use publication limiters to search for articles published after a certain date, for example, after 2007. We can also specify types of publication, such as journals and magazines. In the Computing Classification System section, you can enter an alphanumeric node designation, such as K3 for computers and education, or you can enter a word or phrase descriptive of the subject of interest. You can conduct an advanced search using only a single field, or you can use as many fields as fit your information need. This concludes the tutorial on the ACM Digital Library.